Six kilogram bout between Metesh Lucian Bernatek and Mohamed Hossein Elayasi, who's been so impressive, the Iranian, through this tournament. Could it be on the cusp of a huge result and move into a world final? And it would be some achievement, though he'll have to get past Matthias Bernatek for thoughts to any final. Well, we saw earlier performances of these two athletes. The other semi-final, Artem Surkov took out Mati Nemesh. He was the gold medal winner yesterday. He takes on right hand Su. Matthias Benatek. Here we can see the scratches he managed to take. That was during his matchup with Turkey's Atakan Yüksel. Trying to spin round Mohamed Elias Elasi. Only really onto his hand there, seemed to get caught in the face, so it's been a bruising time for the pole. Uh, Eliassi with a point advantage inside the opening two minutes. Bernatek for his 10th at the European Championships. But he's looking to repeat his last performance in Paris at the Grand Prix where he took a silver. He was a European champion at under 23 level, but is yet to win a major medal. And the 23 year old. Needs to overcome the impressive Eliassi, who's looking to win his maiden title. The loser of this will go into Repassage. As they'll fight for a bronze. After this, we'll be seeing... The losers in the quarter-final face-off in order to earn a place against the losing semi-finalists of their weight division. But for now, full focus for these two is not on bronze. It's on winning a gold or silver. And at the moment, it's El Yassi, who has a slender lead going into the round two.
So three minutes for Bernatech to turn this one around. With the hardest target to go for. Just the one point, but Yassi will hope to try and extend that. Frank up the pressure. And with every passing second, the pressure grows, knowing that the reward is a gold or silver at the World Championships. And considering it's just a year after the Rio Games, this is the pinnacle at the moment, and also, impressively, there'll be points that could see the competitors qualify for Tokyo 2020, but Bernatek has got his mind on the gold medal final. Brilliant takedown of El Yassi, and now he's got it where he wants him. Can he turn two to more? Spins him over. And an added two points for Bernatek. And big, big trouble for Eliassi. Really tough. On the Iranian. There is a challenge being made. Which could see a penalty point against the Iranian should it go against him. That's a brilliant suplex, but maybe I'm suggesting it wasn't a clean one. Or if they're complaining about this one, we'll have to wait and see. Well, yes, he needs all the help he can get. He desperately needs this challenge to go in his favor. The decision's been made. Well, I don't know if that's a rueful smile for El Yassi. What is the decision? Well, 4 1. And Bernatek in control. Looks like he has one foot in the final. Well, Yassi has had such a great tournament. But at the moment, he looks like when he returns the mat, it'll be a battle for bronze, which would still be a sensational result. But the carrot of gold or silver being hung here in the semi final will make it a tough. Hill to swallow. But Bernatek, with that burst at the start of the second round, has left himself in a hugely strong position and just 15 seconds away from a world final. The first of his career. Tenth at the European Championships. Well, He's going to have a chance to show that he's the best in the world. Brilliance for Bernatek. Look what it means to him. Body slamming his coach. You seem to oddly enjoy it. 
Oh, it means the world to Beretek. It's gutting for El Yassi. He'll have to pick himself up for the repassage. The brilliance of Beretek. And he will be back tonight to battle for Greco Roman wrestling 66 kilogram gold.